the General Commission on the Status and Role of Women is the only place in the United Methodist Church where there is a 1-800 number for victims or potential victims of sexual misconduct to call, to talk to a live person, to find out what our process is, what is prohibited conduct, how do you seek a resolution, how does healing begin, all of that comes through our office at the General Commission on Status and Role of Women. We have a website that goes to that effect. Uh, one of the pieces that we have realized that was missing, let me back up. Uh, the Council of Bishops came forth with a statement after the Me Too movement that was several years ago uh, saying that the Council acknowledged, and we joined them in that acknowledgement, that sexual misconduct within the church was a breach of sacred trust and was, was a sin. Um, and that acknowledgement is in the books. It's one of the things the Council published. But what's never really happened on a formal basis and what is a necessary first step for healing to occur is for there to be an acknowledgement. Yes, that occurred, but there hasn't been an apology. And that is the first step that is necessary for healing. That came out of discussions from uh, victims who had called our offices, from complaints that had come in or complainants seeking advice through our office that nobody had ever said, I'm just sorry. I am so sorry for what happened to you and that interfered with your relationship with Christ and with the church. So out of that came a discussion among, from staff and then with our board and we, uh, we are bringing forth uh, two actual pieces. One is a piece of legislation, the second is an event. One, the piece of legislation is to ask for an apology from the church and for that apology to actually happen if it passes for it to happen on the floor of general conference and then for each annual conference to take that apology home with them and have a public apology for on the floor of their annual conference the second piece is that we've asked permission at general conference from the commission on general conference to have a vigil for survivors of sexual misconduct and we are in the planning stages of right now of where that could happen uh, because we think this should also be a, a candlelight vigil is what we envision and we suspect that they're not all of the, the, the victims have been those who have contacted us not all the survivors are those the church has just been part of a the Boy Scout settlement we would suspect and expect there would be other survivors of sexual misconduct that we would want to include in this vigil in this time of healing uh, on behalf of the church for survivors.